customers' needs of today are changing, and they're changing rapidly. We're dealing with parts that have variability. Everything downstream has to be able to absorb and take up that variability and still produce the same quality parts. That's what keeps things moving. The cost of dealing with bad parts getting into the OEM market is huge. So it's either adapt or be left behind. Our customers earn their value through making parts. If we can reliably make a machine make two or three times as many parts as what they could otherwise, that's two or three times the value that they would have otherwise witnessed. There's two segments for these cells. A lot of flexibility up front to run lots of different details or the ability to adapt it down the road from one part to another part. That just allows the high-speed cells to not just be high-speed in terms of the way they function. They've got to be high-speed in how they're maintained. Everything should be high-speed. It's really the compliance that we've built into the gun, the inverting, the welding, the pinpoint solution itself. Their ability to have one operator run two different cells. When you put them all together, you have a pretty awesome fastener welding system. On hot stamp parts, they laser cut the holes with varying degrees of accuracy. If you have an automated cell, the pin for the nut welding finds the hole or it doesn't. There are software solutions to doing this, but what we found is we could be a lot quicker at this by mounting the gun in a soft motion so that it's able to pull the gun over to where it needs to. It's self-aligning. Some of the roof panels we're dealing with, those fasteners are being welded at 1,500 millimeters away from the center of the wrist. Minor variations at the wrist get multiplied out over that distance. So you have to have a system that can adapt to that, and that's what the soft mount gun does. For welding fasteners one at a time, the typical way that that was being done would be open the gun, reposition the stamping, feed the nut, close the gun and weld. What we do is we invert the process so that while we're repositioning the stamping, we're also feeding the nut to the lower electrode. By the time the stamping is repositioned, we're ready to close the gun already. It goes really fast. The pinpoint gives us that really quick and easy operator load and gives us a good enough location for a robot to grab the part. I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but it came up. I was on a phone call and I was playing around with a piece of paper on my desk, dragging it with a pen. And it's like, huh, you know what we could do here? It's a very simple solution to move a part along. Since the pinpoint is all about versatility, we can now move to different positions, we can adapt to different scenarios, and we can recover more easily given the drives that we've chosen. And we're using vision sensors to more carefully assess that we do have the right product to deliver to the machinery inside. Industry standard on welding a fastener to a stamping, just in a simple operation, is like one every 10 seconds. Driving everything we could faster, 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 with the pinpoint moving the parts up into the machine and the robot handling inverted guns which allow us to feed the nut while we're repositioning the stamping. Now we're running one nut every two and a half seconds. I really enjoy watching a customer the first time they see it. That kind of tells me everything. It's like, it's that simple. Yeah, it's that simple. Simple is always better. The setup of the soft mount gun, for example, it's gone from a multi-hour fine balance thing, like trying to balance an egg, to a 15 minute, just about anybody could do it, setup. Customers that were buying very cheap, inexpensive welders have actually done an about face going into this high tech, expensive equipment, but much fewer operators. The pin conveyor along with the soft mount gun give you a more complete solution, but each one can be applied independently for whatever the customer's needs are. For our customers, it's an asset. They expect to get 20 years out of it instead of just the life of a program. The numbers don't lie. This is the way to go. Mm -hmm.